Okie dokie. So the next step was under the bonnet. Let's have a look under the bonnet. I've taken the battery out. And now basically, I've got to go ahead and clean up all the wiring under the bonnet. So all this stuff here, anything that looks new, is probably aftermarket. There's just crap everywhere. So we're taking all this crap out. We're doing what they call essentially in the race scene, a wiring tuck. So all this just aftermarket, aftermarket, uh, them plugs original, just look, tidier already. So basically all that in a 40 year old car is just crap that someone has added in. So we're gonna go ahead, get rid of it, and uh, then we can pull the other seat out and actually start cleaning up and prepping the inside of the vehicle for the heater and the aircon. I'm actually excited for that. Not excited to clean this mess up. So yeah, we're just gonna go through, cut it all out, start from scratch. Right, we go. We have um, cleaned it up, I suppose you can call it. That's all the wiring that um, has come out of it that someone has added in. So now we're back to pretty much just the bare wiring in the vehicle. Still a couple other little extra things, but I'll tidy them up as we go. But yeah, that's... A lot of wires that for a car that doesn't use much wiring. So yeah, we'll keep cleaning you up and uh, we've got to rejoin a few wires that someone has cut. So I've just got to rejoin all them, tape everything up and then yeah, should be pretty right to start putting the new dash back in. Rightio guys, we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so um, as you've probably seen, we've pulled the whole dash apart on the little Land Cruiser. Now, me and Chanel, we've jumped in the car because there's a couple pieces that we need to our jigsaw puzzle. And a few of those are some air conditioner cables and a preheat timer for the glow plug system. Okay, so we've just pulled up at this wrecker, and I think it is called Briz Auto Parts. Now, hopefully, <laughs> they have what we need. Mm. Right, we're just going to go in and have a look. and yep. yeah. Wish for luck. Yes. They, yep. I think they're wrecking a little 73 series as well. So fingers crossed. We can get a few things. And, we've got, and they've got what we need. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So we... Your we destination do? is on the right. Ah. So we went to the one we were at. You saw us like two seconds ago. And um, I had no clue about any Land Cruiser. Didn't even know what we were talking about. And then... <laughs> This fella that worked there called the owner and said, no, 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 you at the wrong place, basically. So, we're here at... The Briz. Briz. Another Briz Auto Parts one, yeah. but it's just here on the left, and I can see Land Cruisers. So, we must be in the right spot here. So. Alright, so we've walked in here. Got our list. Got our list, now we're just waiting on our mate. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't rip us off. It's a bit shady. <laughs> <laughs> We are good to go. So we've got our, we didn't need this part, but we needed the cables. Uh, Toyota wouldn't sell just the cables, and this bloke wouldn't sell just the cables either. So we have the whole thing with the cables. Mm -hmm. So we tick that one off the list. We also got the heater tap for under the bonnet. We also got our timer that does not exist under the dash, which is why I cannot find the glow plug problem because the timer was missing. <laughs> so that's one of the issues. Mm -hmm. And then we also got our 12 volt fan motor as well. All for the aircon. Or well, because yeah. I want aircon. <laughs> except for the glow plug thing. Yeah, except for the glow plug. <laughs> so, yeah. Righto. That's that crap Let's done. Let's go back and get it fixed. Yep. Righto, we're back. <laughs> Righto, we're back from the wreckers and we have found our preheat timer. So the glow plug issue that we've been trying to find and why nothing really makes sense is because this little baby was not fitted to the vehicle. This is the plug where it's meant to go and that was just taped up under the dash. So yeah, that's basically what it is. It's normally mounted up under the glove box. So we picked up one of these bad boys, we'll plug him in. 
And then we'll go turn the key on and hopefully the, hopefully the globe will light up now and we shall mm. see. That's good. Yeah, baby, it <laughs> glows. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. I was, oh, what I was counting for is how long it was glowing it for. Mm. So. Lovely, we can start on cold days now. <laughs> no, almost, but not there yet. Mm. So that was a big one, so we need to get a white globe for that now. But the actual rail has been taken off the glow plugs as well. So all I've got to do is clean that up, rejoin that back up. But yeah, that's why it wouldn't glow. You sneaky little devils who've done this car, weren't they? I don't know. Yeah, look, look at the devils. Look at the devils did to us. I've cleaned that up. Really? Radio, right, yeah, just sort of calming down a little bit after that. So I just went and got the GoPro. As I wasn't really filming, I've just been trying to work out the glow plug thing because it worked when I plugged the timer in yesterday for like 10 seconds and then sort of cut out. Um, so just had the multimeter hooked up, just checking if I had the power and everything there. And I was like, it's as if the timer's faulty. Um, the globe wasn't lighting up on the dash. So I got my test light out. And as soon as I put my test light, the globe lit up. I was like, okay, so it's like, we've got a bad earth. Um, I'll tell you what, it must've been a bad earth because as you'll see on the phone footage, like the smoke was coming out from under the bonnet and I just had the bonnet shut. Rightio, that was, um, that was a scary one. Um, so, looks like the wiring down there that goes to the relay. Um, yeah, she almost caught fire, so. Whew. Bet you that was a hot down there. It's like I've got a really bad earth issue. And, um, yeah. Don't worry about that dodginess. That was very close to catching on fire. See how hot the wires were? Melted the sheath off it. Oh, this is just going to be a headache to fix this now. Hmm. A little battery had some power in it. Um, just while I was testing it, but this is the damage. Now if you can see in there, it's melted all that. The wires melted all the way. All the way up to the glow plug current circuit. So at a guess, there was a dead short in the rail of the glow plugs, possibly. Um, I don't know, it's just a real pain in the ass. Oh, 40 year old car, basic, electrics, and it's just a headache, it's a nightmare. So now I'm pretty much gonna have to rewire the whole glow plug circuit. Well, I might just put the dash back together and call it a day. <laughs> that was a close call. That's the wiring that was fitted to the vehicle that like, I've got no idea what even half of that done. So, yeah. So here we are, a 40 year old car that's about to get a new lease on life with some wires and um, hopefully I can get the glow plug issues sorted and not burn it completely to the ground. But we're gonna give the glow plugs a break and the wiring under the bonnet a break and start refitting the dash, I think, or might even see how hard it is to pull the whole wiring harness out of the car and do it on the ground. How do I feel about that? I'll have a look. Let's have a squiz. Okay, so the verdict is we're pulling the whole wiring harness out of the car. So there's a little rubber grommet up in there. All this wiring can basically stay in there. I've had a look under the bonnet. Now we've got a couple headlight plugs couple other things and then it goes down there to a couple of plugs and we can pull that whole loom that is all melted straight through the firewall pull it through the firewall do it out there instead of stuffing around under here let's get into it <laughs> Here. What have we got here? We have got the aftermath. <laughs> so, fun little fact, this baby right here that is all melted, 
was the glow plug relay. Now the glow plug relay, they're the wires there that run through this whole harness. Well, used to. The copper's still there. All the way up here, as you can see, is it was warm. Um, up to these ends, and they is what normally warms your glow plugs up and quite far <laughs> not the whole car normally so <laughs> yeah we had obviously an upgraded version that done the whole vehicle so <laughs> it's ruined my day it did so the job went from a small little yeah we'll just swap the dash and put air conditioning in it to just wrecked the whole lot of it but well, anyway this happens with a project doesn't it mate 40 year old car what do you yep. expect we don't know exactly what the cause was because it's melted obviously but i got a feeling wait up you stay there that's the wires that come out of the glow plug relay so whether or not the timer told it to just keep heating keep heating or the relay uh we don't really know the issue so but it didn't melt the wires on the timer so i would assume it was a relay another trip to the junkyard time to go to mackie's and get some <laughs> lunch <laughs> Rightio guys, I sort of skipped the part of me stripping back the wires, but here we go. This is what we've got. So basically that is where it was melted all the way down on that side, all the way up on this side. And now that is where the glow plug relay used to plug in. As you can see, she's all melted all the way. That was the wire that went to a little fuse that obviously didn't work. Um, that wire was just in the chassis, that was the earth wire holding it, um, and then obviously it just goes to a melted blob. Do we think the problem started here, in this plug, or do we think there's a problem with the glow plug rail, and the problem actually started on the rail somewhere, and had a dead short, and melted the whole lot? Um... I'm scared to hook everything back up, to be honest. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on what caused the problem, and I'll keep working to get this wiring right repaired. Right here, right now, right here, right now, right here. And now, as you would have just seen in that little time lapse, I'm just currently fixing all the wires, joining the tape and everything back up. Um, what I'm using is just some electrical tape, and then I've got this um, cloth tape. Now that little baby there is $56 a roll, um, and that's actually what they use on a lot of wiring harnesses now, instead of wrapping everything in conduit, because the conduit which is that plastic stuff just there. That one's all taped up inside before that's gone over it. But if you run conduit on your wires without taping it or anything like that, what will happen is that conduit will sit there and just rub all day long and actually eat. It will cut through all your wires. I'm not saying that happens over a week or a year or something. It's just something we see on a lot of high kilometer vehicles, um, especially trucks and that. And they come in and it just rubs all the wires bare. So we're just taking the time, because I don't plan on pulling this out for a few years, to tidy it all up. There's a few more wires that we need to join from the damage yesterday. Um, we went and seen the auto electrician and he has given us some new wiring. So that will be our glow plug wires soon now the benefit of actually pulling the glow plug wires out of this whole harness now is that if there's another problem i'm just going to have it taped in patches to the main harness so it's easy to replace next time if i do have the same problem um but yeah i'll just keep going through tidying up all the wire then we're going to feed it back into the engine bay and start putting the dash back together so yeah <laughs> So this is the finished product. That is our wiring harness now. Everything has been taped up, cleaned up. 
So next job is to put that all back under the bonnet. So we'll go ahead, we'll feed everything back in, start plugging it all back in, and then we can build our glide plug circuit and then just run it with the main harness. So, easy. <laughs> I have cleaned the dash up. So the next step is now is the air conditioning, which is, I've just got it all out. Blower motor, the heater core, so that's the blower motor, all that. So now this step is to Got to clean all the aircon up because I'm not worrying about the glow plug wires under the dash. So, yeah, we're going to start fitting all the aircon unit and everything back under the dash. And I haven't pulled one out or swapped one over before, so it's a learning curve for everyone here. And I'm guessing all the plugs are there and everything's there. It's just a matter of building the whole aircon thing under the dash now. So, we'll go ahead, wash everything up, and then we'll start putting this jigsaw puzzle back together. Right here, right here.